Almost 10 years after uncovering an obscure football-shaped egg fossil, scientists are now linking it to mosasaurs, gigantic ancient sea reptiles that lived among dinosaurs. Here is what we know about the fossil so far. Nine years ago, scientists discovered a 68 million year old fossilized egg on Seymour Island in Antarctica. A new research published in the journal Nature suggests the egg may have belonged to an ancient marine reptile called Mosasaur. The fossilized egg has a soft shell that measures 29 centimeters in length and 20 centimeters in width. It is the second largest egg recorded to date. It is roughly five times the size of a medium sized chicken egg. Mosasaurs were marine reptiles that lived during the dinosaur era. Evidence suggests that mosasaurs gave birth to live young. However, the egg could have hatched right after being laid. This mode of reproduction is called ovoviviparity. Mosasaurs belong to an order of reptiles called squamates or scaled reptiles, whose ancestors split from the ancestors of dinosaurs, birds, and crocodiles roughly 240 million years ago. Lizards and snakes also belong to this group. Speaking of modern creatures that are connected to ancient creatures, take a look at this weird worm-like critter. This animal lived 555 million years ago, and new evidence suggests it may be the earliest known relative of most animal life on Earth. This, dear viewer, is your ancestor. Geologists examining fossil impressions from South Australia have found evidence of the earliest relative of most animal life on Earth, a tiny worm-like creature that lived 555 million years ago, according to a study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Writing in a news release, scientists at the University of California, Riverside, say laser scans suggest the Icaria wariota was about the size of a grain of rice, 7 millimeters long and 2.5 millimeters wide at the largest. They were wide in the head, narrow in the rear, and possessed bilateral symmetry. This suggests they had a mouth, anus, and gut. The genus name Micaria is a place name for Wilpena Pound Mountains in the indigenous Adyamathanya language. The species name refers to Wariota Creek, where the specimens were found. The worm-like creatures are the oldest animals ever found to possess bilateral symmetry. This suggests they may be the first common ancestors to animals organized along the bilateral body plan, including dinosaurs, insects, and humans. According to the news release, bilateral symmetry was a crucial evolutionary step that gave animals an efficient way to organize their body and to move purposefully. The ocean floor-dwelling creatures lived during the Ediacaran period. Scientists say the worms likely possessed senses that allowed them to navigate the well-oxygenated sands and search for organic matter to consume. Speaking of wacky ancestors, did you know that there's evidence that some crocodiles may have been walking around on two feet? Yep, check it out! There is a debate happening in the scientific community. Experts have found evidence which indicates that ancient crocodiles could have been bipedal. But some in the paleontology community aren't really sure if that's really what these footprints suggest. So why do some think these could be the great-grandparents of crocs, while others are still on the fence? Here is what you need to know. Experts from South Korea's Chinju National University of Education discovered many fossilized animal tracks in 2019 that they now believe could belong to an ancient crocodile that walked on two feet. Their research was published in the journal Scientific Reports. The team found the fossilized footprints at a site located west of Sacheon City in South Korea's South Gyeongsang province. The team has named the animal Batrachopus grandis. The footprints measure up to 24 centimeters in length, and the heel print, digits, and impressions of the pads look very similar to those of crocodile track marks, the BBC reports, citing Professor Martin Lockley from the University of Colorado at Denver, a co-author of the study. The Batrachopus grandis legs were about the same height as a human adult's legs. The fact that there are no tracks of the ancient crocodile's tails dragging behind them and the closeness of the footprints suggest this animal could have been bipedal. If you ask Professor Phil Manning from the University of Manchester, though, you'll hear another interpretation of these marks. Here's what he told the BBC. For me, the tracks just don't fit the overall geometry of a crocodilian and what it's capable of producing. Look at any videos of living crocs and the rotation of their feet when they're galloping. 
It's outwards, not inwards, toward the midline of the trackway. Just from the orientation, it looks more like some kind of dinosaurian track maker to me. But whether it's a croc, unfortunately, we just don't have the fossil bones to tell us. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.